So basically, this is a blog entry that um, I know that you'll gain a lot of valuable information from. It is basically the only video you will ever have to watch on my blog about publishing administration, at least the, the, the publishing administration one-on-one, how to set up a record. Now I'm not talking about how to get the buzz going in the streets. I'm not talking about marketing right now. I'm talking about how to professionally set up your record. Dotting every I, crossing every T, making sure everything, making sure everything is professional, making sure everything is registered with the proper agencies, organizations, companies, things of that nature. Cause you're not doing it right. And I'm here to help you. And this information that I'm giving you for free is so valuable you the the intrinsic value is easily five hundred dollars for what i'm about to tell you about how to set up your record okay so let's get started you've got a dope record everybody likes it you need to make sure that that dope record is professionally recorded professionally mixed, professionally mastered, split sheets are done, agreed to, signed on, and executed. You need to make sure that your records are registered with agencies and organizations such as the Library of Congress, Copyright Office, LOC.gov, where you go to do your eco electronic copyright you already have the copyright once you take it out of your brain into the physical plane the material rim it is then copyrighted but to register that copyright in the united states you go through the united states copyright office and that is what loc.gov is for. That website, loc.gov, LOC standing for Library of Congress. What else do you need to do? You got the split sheets. You got it mixed, mastered, professionally recorded. You, you got it copyrighted. You need to do a work registration form on the record, which is free through BMI, ASCAP, a lot of people want to talk about CSAC. If you're a nobody, shut up about CSAC. CSAC is not for you. CSAC is for, for published artists. CSAC is for people who have already been published or for people who CSAC actually reach out to and say, would you please join us? We love your music. It's dope. So if that's not, if you haven't been reached out to by CSAC, and if you have not already been published, shut up about CSAC. Ask Captain BMI. We're going to keep it right there. Listen, I'm, I'm here to deliver this information stab, 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 point by point by point. I'm not trying to sugarcoat it because what I'm tired of is seeing all these fake wannabe PR specialists, marketing specialists, publishing administrators, artists, managers, everybody want to have workshops on how to make it in the music industry, all these open mic nights, taking advantage of starving artists, and, and all this stuff is filling up my timeline, and it's, I'm tired of it. It's disgusting. It's nauseating. It makes me want to vomit on my video blog. So I'm here to tell you about the organizations. Media Base, Sound Exchange, your performing rights organization, which would either be ASCAP or BMI. You also need to make sure that your record is coded, not just with ISRC sequences. There are, there's a lot of talk out here about ISRC sequences. Yes, you need them. Yes, they are important, but they are not the end all 
they, they're not the be all to all or in all to all, however that phrase goes. You have to have your UPC barcodes to go along with your ISRC sequences. It's like peanut butter and jelly. Or ginger ale and Moo Cow 90 proof cognac. However, you know, it, it can, however you can get the reference. So, you need ISRC sequences and the UPC barcodes to go along the, to, to marry, to intertwine into each other so you can register your music with BDS Radio. It has to be clean. Nielsen BDS. iTunes, companies like TuneCore, CD Baby. I know what you're thinking. Some of you amateur self-publishers, wait a minute. I registered my music. Nobody asked me for an ISRC code. Because you, you weren't paying attention. You put the, the carriage before the horse. There's an ISRC code on that music. Otherwise, it, it couldn't be up. It's not your ISRC code. You need your own set of ISRC sequences. Your own set of UPC barcodes. You need to start taking advantage of your own branding. Step out in front of your own branding, your own imaging. Be a music professional. Be respected as a music business enterprise. Handle your business. Okay, so let's go back. Did we talk about media base? Media Base, Sound Exchange, Nielsen BDS, BDS Radio, BMI, and or ASCAP. Um, professionally writing, recording, mixing, and mastering, split sheets, all that. Okay, so that's basically it. I just gave you the whole list. You, I gave you the whole list. You can start right there and start doing your research right now. Now, right now, I'm going to slightly dig into each one of those things that I just mentioned. Okay. Slightly. Very quickly. I'm not going to dig in too deep. I just, I just gave you what you needed. All you got to do is use Google and you'll be good. Okay. You got a dope record. Make sure that everyone signs off on the record who is involved. Someone could be difficult to find or they're just afraid to jump when it's time to do the paperwork, when it's time to do the business. So you don't want to get everyone all super happy about this music and the people who helped you to co-write, co-produce, decide that uh they don't know if this is uh legit you ever come across those type of tire kickers okay get your split sheets on the dope record that you created with these other people and if you did it by yourself you're great now you record the song professionally Get it mixed professionally. Now, before you get it mastered, before you get it mastered, there are some things that you need to understand. Number one, well, I'm not going to, I'm going to talk about the mastering process, but right now I'm going to talk about the pre-mastering process. Not just pre, not just the mix that happens before, I said between the professional mix and the professional mastering, there are some other things that need to take place. If you haven't done this already, start a legitimate business, start a legitimate company, S Corp, C Corp, partnership, doesn't matter, LLC, register with the secretary of state. That's a fee. I don't know how much that fee is. In the state of Georgia, it's $100. 
once you have started your legitimate company, you can get a, uh, uh, go to irs.gov, apply for an LLC EIN number, which would be considered a disregarded entity. It's very simple, not as uh, deep and, and complex as it sounds. You get your EIN number immediately. Go open up a bank account. Now, you got your LLC company up and running. You need to open up a publishing arm or two. So you go through BMI and register an LLC publishing arm. That's $250. With ASCAP is $150. So you just set up your publishing arm to go up under your uh, your entertainment company or record label, whatever you want to call your business, your LLC. Okay, so now, now that you have done these two things, here are the next two things you ought to do. The first thing is, as a legal entity, you want to apply through the RIAA, that is the company that decides on whether someone has went gold or platinum or double platinum, diamond. They develop the ISRC technology, satellite tracking, uh, 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 we call uh, formula uh, uh, algorithms. Yes, you're in the car, you're riding, you got a CD playing. It could be a bootleg CD that you bought off the street. You pop it in the CD player. You see people's name pop up. And it's like, how do it know? How do it know? There was a show, a segment on a radio show in Atlanta years ago. How do it know? ISRC technology. You apply through your legitimate company, not Joe Blow, not Lil Mookie and them, but through your legitimized entity you apply to become a studio manager and you get a set of isrc sequences uh to get a set of upc barcodes it's not as complicated you just basically put your card information in and you're good that's what you do with your company now, what you do with your publishing arm is copyright your music. Copyright the music, not as yourself, but as the publishing company. So, say for instance, uh, Killer Chap Music Group, LLC, is your company. So your BMI publishing arm would be Killer Chap Publishing. Now, if you have writers whose publishing interest you are uh, uh, representing happen to be with ASCAP, then you have to create an ASCAP publishing company. You can have two or more. You can have multiple publishing companies but you can't have you can't be affiliated as a writer with multiple publishing companies. So you got Killer Chap Music Group LLC. That's the company name. That's the entity name. That's the name that's registered with the Secretary of State. Now with BMI, you paid that two fifty for your LLC to have Killer Chap Publishing. I think that's what I said. And then you go to ASCAP and you start Killer Chap Music. The names have to be similar to be considered, aka the same publishing company, because ASCAP and BMI have their way of calculating, tabulating, uh, computing things like this, like 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 your like your royalties and stuff. And they have their own algorithms. So this that's their requirements on both sides that the name of your publishing company is similar on on both sides. Okay, so you copyrighted 
the material through the publishing company. You got your UPC codes, barcodes, and you got your ISRC sequences. Now you're ready for mastering. When you go to get your music mastered, first of all, interview the mastering engineer. Ask the mastering engineer, hey, mastering engineer, can you implement these codes for us? And if he goes, huh, what codes? I see R2, huh? That is not the right mastering engineer to use. The proper mastering engineer to use is going to be aware of what an ISRC is, as well as a UPC and other codes. If your mastering engineer, little Mookie them down the street, all they know how to do is EQ mastering, that is not a professional, commercially viable mastering engineer. You need a mastering engineer that understands coding and, and, and timeline phasing and how to make your music sound uh, uh, sonically correct. And that was free. Cause I'm not talking about production right now. I'm talking about pup pre-publishing administration, publishing administration one-on-one, so to speak. But it's the same principle. If they don't understand timeline phasing, if they don't understand ISRC sequences, if they don't understand implementing UPC barcodes, you are dealing with the amateur. I don't deal with amateurs. If you are an amateur and you're dealing with me, the whole purpose, the whole goal is to bring you up from that amateurish, that, that amateurish uh, uh, state of mind into the consciousness of being a professional music business enterprise. So listen and pay attention. It might sound super tech, technical or professorial, but I'm dropping true knowledge. Not like those folks down there at Little Five Point or at Five Point Station when they say they dropping science. No, sweetie, I'm dropping real science. Science developed by the RIAA. ISRC technology. And if your mastering engineer doesn't know about that or dismisses it or sweeps it under the rug, find someone else. There are a few programs that can implement these codes. Most of them are mastering programs and most of them are PC based. Okay, so you've got that done. What next? Start registering your music. Do work registrations with your performing rights organization or organizations, BMI, ASCAP. To do the work registration is free. Everything I'm telling you is either free or up to about $250. To do, do, an L, to do a work registration with BMI is free. To start a LLC uh, publishing arm with BMI is two fifty flat rate. The mastering process might cost more. The ISRCs, the 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 sequences, they fluctuate. They be anywhere from eighty five dollars for one to about two hundred dollars for nine hundred. So do the math. Work smart not hard or you may can come across someone who has a set because you'll never use all of them when you become a studio manager and they can just sell you some of theirs or you can actually buy them directly from the website or from me or from my dad or from my brother allen dynasty we in this anyway just go over my notes real quick i, I want to make sure i don't miss anything well, I, I could be here forever. I'm going to miss something, okay? I'm going to miss something. This is free training that you're getting from Connie, your music maven. Specialized knowledge in a particular field. That is what a music, that is what a maven is. 
music uh, references the field. If you are serious, you are paying attention. You are listening. This isn't for everybody. Everyone doesn't have the business mindset. Everyone doesn't have, have the entrepreneurial mindset. This is going to land on some deaf ears. Most, most of the people who clicked on this video didn't make it this far. If, as a matter of fact, you want to test the people around you, send them this video. See how far they make it. Ask them what they think about it, and you can tell they start talking all vague. Well, you know, uh, yeah, that that was interesting. Uh, it was kind of deep. I think we need to do that, but most of that stuff I knew. Then you know good and got darn well. They didn't listen to this video. So you've mastered your music. Like a mastering engineer took you through the mastering process. Implemented the codes. Now you're ready to sell it, right? Okay, but do the work registration with your performing rights organization. Register with media base why college radio is big baby college radio is big you got all these people trying to shortchange you college radio play uh they pay royalties so if those broke uh i, I started to say something else. so if those uh, uh financially challenged college students and and the faculty can can drum up some cash to pay you not only to do shows and stuff, but to pay you royalties to play your music on their radio stations, then good and gosh darn well, I'm using euphemisms here, you know what I would really want to say, but I got to keep it professional. A servant is worthy for his hire. Don't let anybody get the shafting on you. Mini bass. Sound exchange. I did a video about sound exchange. You can go back and look on youtube.com slash music plus business. I did actually two videos on sound exchange. Sound exchange part one, sound exchange part two. Okay, so I'm not going to go too deep in that because you, if you want more information, you can just dig in on those two videos. But sound exchange is for digital radio, for digital radio royalties. For digital radio rights, Sirius XM, uh, uh, satellite radio, uh, internet radio. This is what sound exchange is for. You want to register with that. You're going to need your ISRC sequences. You're going you're gonna to need your UPC barcode information. You're going to need your pub, you, the name of your company. You're going to need that information. Your legitimate LLC, not just something you you wrote down on your Metro PCS application. Okay, a real company, bruh, a real company. Yeah, I just said bruh, cause I'm 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 trying I'm using the African American colloquialisms to try to break through and knock away at those false concepts that's keeping you down in in the pit. As a bottom feed, bottom feeder at the worst, big fish, small pun at the best. Expand, break out from that, grow, evolve, unfold, get to the next level. Be professional. It's not that deep. It's not astrophysics. So sound exchange, when they play your music on internet radio, you get paid as a publisher, as a copyright claimant, as a featured artist. Even if you didn't write anything, it's a featured artist. Your name is on it, you get paid. That's sound exchange. Go watch the videos on that. That's it. Um, BDS Radio. It has to be clean, duh. 
the, you you can't you can't submit f u and and the the b i t c and you know all you can't you can't submit that to b d s radio use common sense get a clean version as a matter of fact when you get your music mastered have several versions mastered if you if you if you dirty get the dirty club version mastered get the dirty club version show version mastered get the clean show version mastered get the clean radio edit mastered and the acapellas mastered all of them have to be coded with different codes by the way same thing with your ringtones and your greet me tones they need different codes send me 500 dollars right now to my paypal account consuela marie allen at paypal.com I, I just gave you all of this valuable information and nielsen bds with nielsen bds you register for an account and it's not necessarily automated you're all you're you're applying for an account you're you're applying for a username and a password and they'll email it to you and again you're going to need your isrc sequences per music product as well as the upc codes and all of your other liner notes that are a no-brainer written by produced by co-produced by executive producer name of the label name of the artist that's a no-brainer i hope uh that's all i have to once you once you do that put it everywhere baby join the dj pools see y'all y'all been putting the carriage before the horse y'all been popping these re these singles off these buzz records off and you and you're not getting paid because you didn't do your paperwork quote unquote because mostly everything is digital now but your bmi publishing publishing application is you still have to be printed out you have to write on it you have to lick a stamp mail it back all that stuff but for the most part all of this stuff all of this stuff is digital but i'm still calling it quote unquote paperwork people i i help people to quote unquote get their paperwork straight what does that mean i just told you what it meant because a lot of people want to know what how how do i become a legal entity how do i become legit how do i get my paperwork straight what am i supposed to do i just told you exactly what to do you follow that step by step by step then you can you can give your record to the dj pools you can you can um put it on itunes and tune core cd baby amazon mp3 all all of that sell direct from your website all of that set up your automated selling system on your website I, i'm not even going to go into marketing in this video i'm going to put this in the publishing administration playlist on my channel on youtube and, and i'm going to dig in more on the marketing but before we even dig into marketing and advertising and seo and uh, you got to have a strong foundation baby you got to you got to have you you need to be undergirded with professionalism and knowledge okay so don't don't listen to all these people trying to sell you dreams talking about there's some type of music business consultant they don't know what they're talking about and i'm not trying to brag or be prideful because anyone who knows me personally knows i'm quiet you know i i i, I kind of stay to myself in a sense i don't go around bragging about what i know who i know name dropping but it's not too many people in this industry that's gonna help you in the way that i am the people that know what i know they're not telling people for free they're not talking to you and the people who are telling you stuff for free giving you unsolicited advice trying to uh go go they're going nowhere fast they don't know what they're talking about so i am rare i am a rarity 
I fit in a very uh, uh, needful niche. I'm giving you valuable information that you can't get from anywhere else without go breaking your bank account, your mama break bank account, all your baby mama's break bank accounts. If your woman, your baby daddy break bank account, or or the old man up the street that like you bank account, you'll go for broke messing with the people that know what I know. And the people you listening to who don't know what I know, they are leading you down the wrong path. That's why you must stay subscribed to youtube.com slash music plus business, youtube.com slash uh, uh, loop skull, uh, uh, my, my, my Facebook, uh, facebook.com slash music plus business. Oh, uh, my, the, the name of my parent company is 923 Marketing LLC. You need to stay linked up with me. That that was the free training that I had to offer you. You follow that step by step. You're a legitimate business. Now it's time for you to act like it. So that's why I'm offering you over 100 music contracts. 100 plus music contracts. Artists and label music producer contracts, publishing agreements, agreements with venues, agreements with promoters, anything you need to do business. Cause there are some people that say, um, friends and business don't mix. There are some people that say never mix business with pleasure. There's some people who say, you can't do business with family. But my grandpa said, if it's not in black and white, it's not business. So if you want your business to be respected as business, do everything I just told you. Plus you need to go ahead and click the link below and grab these 100 plus, uh, music contracts and fill in the blank. It's only $7. Can you invest $7 into your music business enterprise? Come off seven bucks. So people solicit me for free information all the time. Y'all got me this time. I just gave it to you. People solicit me for free information all the time. And I understand it, sweetheart. I'm an infopreneur. Information is the new currency. I get paid for what I know. But this is what I say. Are you willing to invest your dollar? You go, you gonna go get that zip. You gonna trick off back page, invest $7 in your music business enterprise right now by clicking the link below and grabbing these 100 plus music contracts where all you have to do is fill in the blank change the percentages around, you know, put your name, your, your company name in, put their company name in, change the percentages around, change the upfront advance money around the dates, sign and execute. They sign and execute. You are in business for real. That's all you gotta do. Click the link below. Now, everything I just talked about, was walking you through that whole process. You could do it yourself. You could Google it. You could do the research. If you don't have the time to do it, or you just don't want to, you feel overwhelmed, or you don't feel like you need me to do it, I can do that too. I will not do it for free, but I will do it. It's something that you could do on your own, but if you want me to take precious time out of my schedule, Cause I'm working with celebrities and social media strategists and, uh, public speakers and business coaches all over the nation, all of the time. If you want me to take uh, time out of my precious schedule to help you, I will, I want to help you, but that is going to cost. You could do everything I just told you to do on your own, but if you want me to do it for you, I'm going to quote a price here a stack, a rack, a band, a grand, $999.99. That is 
as of today, as I am posting this video, I don't know when you're going to be watching it by archive. I don't know what the price will be by then, or if I'll even be offering this service, but that is something to consider. If you really want me to walk you through that and you can message me and I can tell you all that it includes. First of all, it includes everything that I just mentioned in this video, but you have to pay the expenses that nine ninety nine ninety nine. that's my fee for my pockets in my time and my effort my energy my knowledge but there are some other things concerning marketing that i will also help you out with that will once you do everything else that i just said this will take you over to the next level but until you're ready for that you at least need to get these 100 plus uh music contracts for seven dollars by clicking the link below and I will say this to you in all thy ways acknowledge him and he will direct your path keep God first and stay in the know I am Connie your music maven thank you for watching be prosperous stay blessed